everyone. Thank you for joining me once again for another book review. Uh, if you would be so kind to hit the like, share button, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and get right to it. This book review is a follow-up from a previous book. It is a continuation and this book is called Four Aunties and a Wedding by Jesse Q. Sutanto. And I probably messed that up once again. Sorry. <laughs> so this is a sequel to the previous book I gave a review on. I am delighted that the author decided to give us another dosage of this family. Now I listened to the audiobook again so I could get another good experience with the narrator, which didn't disappoint. The author did give a short recap at the beginning um, of what happened in the last book, so you are not completely in the dark about what previously happened. So, yes, Medellin, aka Medi, is getting married. So, Medi and her groom and the aunties have hired a wedding coordinator that consists of five relatives that are somehow distant of distant relatives. Things are going according to plan until a secret phone call is overheard and all chaos ensues. In true fashion, Medellin and the aunties have gotten themselves in quite a pickle. Their past actions have come back to haunt them and they are being blackmailed into compliance with allowing a murder to happen. However, Medlin and the aunties can't let this happen. Okay, so this book is all about how they try to prevent a death from occurring at Medlin's wedding. Madeline's wedding turns out to be a total hot mess, okay? There is drugging of guests, kidnapping, lies, smuggling, and deception going on that will have your head spinning, okay? This story is filled with shenanigans that will either make you growl in frustration or howl with laughter. Now, <laughs> I can't tell you too much more, so you'll have to read the book to find out how this all shakes down, okay? You'll have to read the book to find out if Medlin and the aunties were able to stop the murder of one of their guests or not. With all the shenanigans that went on, did Medlin get married or did the groom have enough of this family? We actually get to find out what the auntie's names are in this book, which you will have to read the book to find out what they are. I'm not going to tell you. I was surprised though by what the names were. Not what I would think of as traditional or cultural specific names, okay? So it kind of was like, wait a minute, what's their name? Medlin has the patience of a saint, okay? I don't know. I, I couldn't do it. I could not do it. I would have been so frustrated with the aunties and their antics. <laughs> Medlin, I don't, I don't know. I, I would have had to take medication to, to, to deal with these people on a regular basis. <laughs> Now, if Medlin decides to live in the vicinity of her aunties for the next years of her life, it's going to be an ongoing, ridiculous saga of unfortunate incidents. I mean, after book two, I, I think I'm good with the family. I, I think I've, I've read enough. Um... I really don't think I could take another book anytime soon. Not in a bad way. I just was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe next year I can read the next phase of Midland's life with these crazy aunties. But 
I, I've had my yearly dosage <laughs> for sure. So in the beginning of this book, the author um, does give an explanation of the direction this story will go in terms of culture and its intention. The author sheds a peek at her own experience with her parents and in-laws that seemed to be a springboard for the creativity of this book. The narrator did an excellent job of bringing this story to life. I thoroughly enjoyed the verbal acting skills the narrator showed. The vocal notes and inflections were like spot on. I was like, man, she she did that. <laughs> um, I, you know, while I'm listening to this book, I was like, man, I wonder if this will be turned into like a movie or a limited series. I mean, my imagination is pretty superb, but I would like to see this play out on screen too. So maybe. The only trigger that I can't even come up with is violence. However, it's done on a PG and comical level, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. I mean, it's pretty minor. Um, this is a book that would have you laughing, especially if you have chosen to listen to the audiobook version. If reading the physical book, there are highs and lows that will keep you turning the pages to find out what happens next. Um, on the audiobook version, yes, you will still have the feeling of wanting to know what happens next, but of course, unless you speed up the pace of the book, it's going to kind of seem even killed. I will say the last couple of chapters was definitely not what I expected. Um, I personally highly anticipated this book. And it didn't disappoint. It was it was comical. It was mystery. It was a page turner. Um, the author is very descriptive, and there are times when that can be more of a harm to a story. So finding a balance is key. Um, I did have the come on already feeling, which may be from wanting to get to the outcome a little bit faster. Um, I had the, oh geez, really response as well. The author keeps you guessing the whole way through. The unveiling of why was a, uh -huh moment, which is like, oh yeah, I could, I, I, I could see where this went down. Yeah. Um, it definitely gave me a good laugh, um, as I said, and it is a well-crafted story. A comical mystery is what I would call it. That's what I would call it, a comical mystery. Um, so I give this book a 9.5 out of 10. So I would say pick it up. It is a good read. You're going to laugh. Um, you're going to possibly get a little frustrated with the shenanigans that go on. Um, you could possibly get a little like, come on already, what 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 we doing? Like <laughs> can we find out what's happening? Um, but other than that, it is a, a well crafted story. This book is as good as the first one. I, w I would say sometimes in a series you get a book and it's good on the first book and the second book is like, what, what happened? This is not that. The author stayed true to the family dynamics, stayed true to the comical level. Um, so kudos, kudos, kudos to the author for bringing us another good book. So if you would be so kind to subscribe, click like, share. If you've read the book, comment your thoughts. I want to know what you think too. And until next time, keep turning the pages, my book lovers.